We're back in the kitchen. I forgot all the bedrooms. There's so much to see in this house. All right, first we go to the left, a little hallway, and a pretty big bedroom. It's already got the ceiling fan in. Neutral, the carpet looks kind of pink in this. It's not, it's a tanny brown. Walk out, and here is a linen closet. And the first guest bathroom, it's got one sink, high ceilings, it's nice, standard bathtub, and a window above it, okay, high ceilings, as always, all tile, bedrooms have carpet, and we turn again, we have another bedroom, Another large bedroom. Oh, no, that doesn't really show, but good sized bedroom and a closet. And again, a ceiling fan. And we keep going this way. We have our second guest bathroom with, again, a window, standard tub, but it's got the dual sinks. You know, not Real fancy, but clean, and do you think these fixtures are new? Um, no, no. Builder. Okay. But the house isn't that old. Yeah, so. six years older than us. 26. Okay, here is our workout room, or whatever. Another bedroom. It's got two closets. These, the window goes out to the front, and then the driveway. This would have been, and a ceiling fan. This would have been the third car garage, but they chose to make it a bedroom, and I think it'd make a fantastic workout room. You could put mirrors along the side. There's already a fan in here. But we could do anything with that, actually. Okay, come out in the hallway. Here's a small bedroom. It's got a closet, though. You can leave it that. You can put an office in here, a little den, something like that. A little library. And this is just all neutral paint. And then here's the last bedroom. Another ceiling fan. It's kind of a little girl's theme. And the closet. Decent size bedrooms. And there we go. Back out to the kitchen. So bedrooms are split. It's a bunch of them. Two bathrooms on this end and of course the master bath. And there's a look at the kitchen again. Okay.